In recent times, scientists have made a remarkable revelation that challenges the long-held perception of the Saudi Arabian desert as an inhospitable and barren land. Extensive research has brought to light a groundbreaking discovery, the desert is far from being a desolate wasteland. In fact, it is brimming with life and abundant resources that have the potential to bring about a transformative change in the region. Join us as we delve deeper into this captivating revelation and embark on an intriguing journey of exploration. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us on this adventure. Drain Dry When modern intensive farming practices were introduced in Saudi Arabia, a significant amount of underground water was found in the desert. This water, which was equivalent to filling Lake Erie in the United States, was initially discovered during the implementation of modern farming methods. Over time, this water was extracted and used for agricultural purposes. In recent decades, a substantial volume of water, comparable to 5 cubic miles or 21 cubic kilometers, has been pumped from underground aquifers each year to support farming. However, the amount of rainfall in the region has been insufficient to replenish the water deficit caused by the extraction rates. A research report from the School of Oriental and African Studies in London, published in 2004, highlighted that the meager rainfall received does not come close to compensating for the water depletion. Farming the Desert Due to the extremely low levels of rainfall, Saudi Arabia lacks natural sources of abundant plant life such as rivers, lakes, and other vegetation-rich areas. Consequently, there is a complete absence of naturally occurring flora in the region. Over many centuries, the Saudi population has relied on finding precious water sources to meet their daily needs. Initially, this was achieved through oases and later through the construction of desalination plants. However, in recent times, there has been a national effort to transform the desert landscape, resulting in a significant increase in the demand for water resources. Upon closer examination of certain regions, it becomes apparent that there are pockets of dense vegetation that are not naturally occurring. This suggests that human intervention has played a role in creating these pockets of greenery. By delving deeper into the situation, these aspects become more evident. Oil Production Despite the initial lack of water resources, Saudi Arabia managed to overcome this challenge and expand its farmlands significantly. The nation's abundant reserve of oil, which was discovered in the dam oil field in March 1934, played a crucial role in this transformation. The deep reservoir, reaching 1440 meters, allowed Saudi Arabia to become the owner of approximately 17% of the world's proven petroleum reserves, estimated to be around 75 million barrels. With the wealth generated from its oil resources, the Saudi Arabian government embarked on a remarkable journey of agricultural development. Today, Saudi Arabia stands as one of the modern wonders of the world, having transitioned from a major food importer to a significant exporter. The country now exports various agricultural products, including wheat, dates, dairy products, eggs, fish, poultry, fruits, vegetables, and even flowers. But how did a predominantly desert nation achieve such a remarkable feat of food production? The answer lies in the strategic actions taken by the Saudis. It is important to note that this transformation was not the result of any magical processes, but rather a combination of careful planning, investment, and innovation. Dryness and Deserts Take a look at this map to locate Saudi Arabia, a country with a land size of 2.14 million square kilometers, roughly equivalent to Western Europe. With this vast area, it ranks as the 14th largest country in the world. Before delving into the reasons behind the remarkable transformation of farmlands in Saudi Arabia, let's first understand the arid nature of the country. For a long time, Saudi Arabia has been associated with intense heat, dryness, and expansive deserts. This perception is accurate, as the country is home to the world's largest desert, Rub al Jali covering an immense expanse of 6,500,000 square kilometers. To put it into perspective, this desert alone is larger than many entire countries. Interestingly, Saudi Arabia does not have a single permanent river flowing through its territory. But wait, there's more to learn. 
When we mentioned that Saudi Arabia receives very little rainfall, let's dig deeper into the specifics. Historically, the country has never experienced an annual rainfall exceeding 150 millimeters. This is an extremely low ratio. As a result, a significant portion of Saudi Arabia has remained predominantly dry, with only a small southwestern region suitable for cultivation. Even as recently as the late 1960s, the country had a mere 400 square kilometers of arable land, accounting for just 0.5% of its total area. Meteorites found in the desert of Saudi Arabia In the sandy expanse of the Saudi Arabian desert, there lie hidden fragments of meteorites, which are objects that have journeyed through space and arrived on Earth. One notable example is the Wabur Crater, a meteorite crater that was initially mapped by John Philby. A meteorite fragment associated with Philby's discovery was found near El Hadida. Interestingly, this was not the first encounter with meteorites on the Arabian subcontinent. Back in the 19th century, two large masses of meteoric iron were unearthed in an aged region of east-central Saudi Arabia. Additionally, in 1910, a gray bronze chondrite meteorite fell in the Hijazan region of Saudi Arabia's western coastal area. Over the years, several other fragments of meteorites have been found in different locations within the Rub al Khali Desert. The Arabian American Oil Company, Aramco, has played a significant role in surveying and mapping the area since 1952, with their geologists making intriguing additions to the meteorite inventory. Through their fieldwork, they have discovered meteoric materials in at least 10 locations within the Rub al Khali Desert. However, determining the exact timing of the meteorite strikes in this desert region remains uncertain. Hundreds of mysterious stone gates found in Saudi Arabia's desert. Through the use of Google Earth, archaeologists have made a fascinating discovery in the Arabian desert, uncovering approximately 400 stone structures that were previously unknown. These structures are believed to have been constructed by nomadic tribes thousands of years ago. Leading this discovery is David Kennedy, an archaeologist from the University of Western Australia. Since 1997, he has been utilizing planes and helicopters to capture aerial photographs of these wheel-like structures scattered across the lava fields in Jordan. The exact origins of these structures are shrouded in mystery, with limited knowledge about the people who built them. However, it is estimated that they have existed for at least 2,000 years, and some theories suggest they could date back as far as 9,000 years. These structures are considered to be the predecessors of the present-day Bedouin tribes in the region. Among the various stone structures, the most well-known ones are known as kites, named after their resemblance to kites flown by children, featuring strings and long tails. These kites served a specific purpose related to hunting. The converging walls of these structures were designed to guide and trap gazelles, leading them into a central area where they could be easily captured and slaughtered. In Saudi Arabia, David Kennedy has identified structures referred to as gates. These gates consist of simple fences constructed with thick upright posts connected by long bars. The purpose of these structures remains unclear, as they do not appear to be associated with burial practices or serve as dwellings for humans. The enigma surrounding these gates adds to the wealth of mysteries found within the expansive lava fields that extend beyond Jordan's borders into Syria and Saudi Arabia. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please make use of the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification icon so we can keep in touch. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.